Day 15 of 30, case processing isn't memorized, it's practiced. You've learned the theory. You know what an ICSR is. You've heard about seriousness, coding, and triage. Now it's time to apply that to a real-world style case. In this video, we'll break down a sample ICSR together, step by step. The sample case narrative, a 63-year-old male patient with hypertension and diabetes was prescribed drug X, active ingredient, Y, for hypercholesterolemia on the 10th of May 2025. On the 15th of May, he experienced nausea, blurred vision, and dizziness. He was hospitalized on the 16th of May. Lab reports showed ALT 180 UL and ASK 210 UL. Drug X was discontinued on the 17th of May. Symptoms resolved gradually and he was discharged on the 21st of May. Step-by-step -step ICSR breakdown. 1. Minimum criteria for valid case identifiable patient identifiable reporter suspect drug adverse event this is a valid case. 2. Event timeline drug started, the 10th of May A onset, the 15th of May hospitalization, the 16th of May discontinuation. The 17th of May outcome, recovered on the 21st of May seriousness assessment yes, due to hospitalization also due to elevated liver enzymes, lab abnormality. 4. Narrative writing key points present tense concise, chronological flow, clinical observations, not assumptions, a 63-year-old male patient experienced dizziness, nausea, and blurred vision 5 days after starting drug X. 5. What you do next in case processing, enter in safety database code ACE with med DRA apply seriousness criteria prepare for medical review initiate follow up, e.g., did the doctor suspect drug relation, day 15 action task, write your own narrative for this case, 150 to 200 words, identify the seriousness criteria and A codes share your output, or a takeaway, on LinkedIn comment, case cracked, once complete, you don't learn PV by just reading. You learn it by practicing, like this. Day 16. We'll simulate your first triage decision and see how fast you can assess case validity.